welcome back guys to another episode of Grassman Fishing right now guys we're going to uh, driving around the uh, lake to the Sewer, and maybe we're going to the little Patricia River guys we're going to try to looking for this fruit guy I used learning from uh, another youtuber like I said guys I know I'm not going to say names and stuff because I don't want to make confusing things but I really like his video he's playing very well but I want to go do an exploration to see if I can find that fruit that fruit uh, it is a perennial plant and the good thing about this plant guys is well the good thing is the taste like a candy that's the that's the taste of the uh all the guys say that they taste like but I want to go check it out but with this plant guys we have to make a very good research may apple are toxic in the leaves the uh, roots and other parts of the plant the only edible part guys is the fruit when it's ripe and it's better guys to pick this uh, fruit when it's ripening in the in the in the in the in the plant and uh, actually guys it is not a bush look it's, yeah it's, it is look like a uh, close to related to plants like like uh, orchids so you know so we had to figure out about that and I was thinking they were related to the rose family but I don't think so but I had to make more investigation about it guys I just going to my way to the receiver I see this plant a lot of times I don't, I don't even know guys this plant got something edible so you know some part edible but only the fruit guys and they say too guys some of the flowers or, or well some of the parts of the, of the plant are used for cancer treatment so well let's see guys we have to figure out about this plan let's go let's go oh well, guys we're gonna go through the forest one more time and remember guys when you come into uh the local forest uh, parks remember guys, you know how to uh you do stuff you know to damage you know the environment and stuff it's really beautiful here guys i can tell you that it's what i catch the trout sometimes when it's trout there right now i'm not sure maybe fishing a little bit later you know this is craftsman fishing so you know so <laughs> so we're gonna go through guys through the forest right to looking for the may apple and we're gonna try guys to looking for to this time of the year it's always to better to find the fruit and like the uh like the youtubers say uh, around you know late august so we're gonna try to do that and like i said guys uh yeah i learned it from other youtubers yep i learned it by books i learned about everything else guys and what you have to do guys when you learn it by somebody else be respectful you know whatever you know the content they have so that's what i do now guys you know i see some minus there guys so maybe catch some minus later for fishing in the lake if i need to if i'm not that's fine i see minus going over there so it's okay so you know, I'm gonna go through the forest. I got a tamal with me, mama give it to me. That's gonna be my lunch. And like I said guys, we're just gonna go through the forest, see what we can see. This kind the uh, plant, the may apple guys, they like to be no into a big sunny places and neither to two places it got too many shades on it, so it's between. And some of the uh, fruits always ripen in the in the between the areas guys so this is the time guys late august and you have to be a little faster guys if you see the fruit guys you can mark it and you know what the fruit is it's better auctions for two reasons that plant guys is so so good for the other animals that we eat right away so if you're trying to look for this uh, perennial plant you have to be careful because maybe you don't find nothing at all so if you see the plants if you see the leaves and you can identify where you can find it better choice you got it or better chance you got it to find it so we just be careful up there guys so it's, uh, that's what i can say so also i'm gonna walk through the forest let's go let's go oh guys we found a gem in the forest one more time i always found this it's not coffee guys it's not coffee tree neither so <laughs> okay don't get excited no? but this plant is called guys spice berry the spice berry guys can be used as a substitute like uh you see this berry this is red and you can use you know the bark like a substitute for uh for like a cinnamon and another spices it was why it's called you know uh, the spice berry but i had to research it more guys I, that's, that's what i read online like a few minutes ago when i see it again so you know it's gonna be full and stuff so we have to research more that's what i know 
you can use part, you know, parts of the plant and use it like a substitute, like a cinnamon and stuff and spices. So, ah, let's go, let's go. We're gonna keep on looking for the other thing. Well, guys, we found another gem, but the gem is very common for real. I found another time, it's called Aron, Aron or Olive. You can see the fruit is right here. It is an invasive species, guys, but whatever it is, is whatever it is, right? So, eh. So you can eat, guys, the, uh, the olive side, you know, skin. Mmm. It's sour, guys. Really sour. Mmm. You have to, you know, spit, you know, the seeds. The only thing you have to, you can eat, guys, is the, um, olive skin. It's a lot of this here. Eh, that's what it is, so. Mmm. Mmm. You can see right there, guys. And the one berry is out, out of season right now, guys. It's no more, um, it's no more one berry, so. That's what it is. You can find the iron, the iron olives. You can find there everywhere, you know, the invasive species, but what it is. I come around here guys because I see milk, you know, milkweed around here. I don't know if they got the pads. Maybe got some pads, maybe not. Well, yeah, they got some pads here. I tested last year. I know about a few years ago. Made some videos. So I come in to see. Yeah, I got some pads here, but very old. Better old if they are more uh, younger, you know, uh, more younger pads. But you know, they can cook those too, you know, them too, but I prefer younger pads. But. But now it's very late for try to cook those. Milk wheel, guys, you can use, that's the only edible part that I know. And be careful, guys, when you cook them, you have to get, you know, the more young pots. But that's what it is. And I'm looking for this uh, May apple, guys. I cannot find it nowhere. I've been walking around. I see trails and stuff here around. And you know, it's what it is. Now I'm gonna go down to this part right here, guys. And I try to find something. Yeah, I hope so I can find it. Maybe not, guys. So that's what it is. I've been trying very hard, guys, uh, lately to find stuff. So I'm gonna try to go through this beautiful path right here, guys. If I will find it, good, guys. But if you don't find it, good. That's what I'm saying, guys. When you're looking for something else, you find something else. I see some chicken of the woods right there in the corner. And I don't want to harvest it, like I say. I just found it. You know, it's right here, chicken of the woods, guys, right there. You can see it right there, it's so pretty and so big. So, let me take a good video. I hope it's gonna sprout, uh, it's gonna make more, you know, uh, spores and make it more. That's edible right there, guys. That's chicken of the woods, and that's a perfect sample to eat for real. So, for right now, guys, we're gonna leave it alone. We're gonna keep going looking. I found more stuff that I was thinking today, but not found yet, guys. The, the May apple. Let's go, let's go. All right, guys, I can't recognize this plant, guys, to native from uh, other places that I know. And I'm not sure, guys, I had to figure out this plant because it looks very similar to a plant we got in my country that used for pain relief. So I'm not sure. Look like, but I'm not sure if it's that one. I found a lot of this plant everywhere, guys. So look like a plant we call a Florifundia. And this plant is used to, uh, to release pain and stuff. So. I'm not sure if it's that one for real. So, okay, guys, my path the other side finished here, guys. So I can't even find the plant yet, guys. So I'm gonna try, guys, to go through here, guys, and go all the way back, guys. But we, I, I, I'm gonna go to the other side. So and I see a puke, a, a puke, uh, it's a puke plant over there. That one is sometimes used for cuisine, but it's venomous too. They say so. It's uh, it's complicated about this plant. But we wanna come back, guys, next year about talking about this plant, guys. But actually, I'm really I'm really intrigued about this plant right here, guys. Not supposed to be here this one but i'm not sure if I, i'm wrong but look very close related so let's see let's go let's go oh well, guys i'm really right what i was saying let's go ginseng wheat and this plant guys is from central america it was introduced here a long time ago and this plant is used by common names is a uh, torn apple ginseng wheat ginseng wheat devil snare or devil or devil trumpet it's species of flowery plants and the nine shade family Sol Solanacea and it's likely original was in Central America. It has been introduced in many world, world regions. So it's here guys, so I don't know what to tell you. Somebody introduced here by mistake, I don't know. 
And this plant, guys, is used medi like a medicinal. It's a yes, some weed is a plant the leaves and seeds are used to make medicine despite the serious safety concern. Yes, some weed is used to treat asthma, cold, flu, influenza, swine flu, nerve, nerve disease, and some people use it as a recreational drug to cause hallucinations, guys. So be careful with this plant, guys. It's here. So what, what I can tell you. Oh my God, I found for the fundia. I, I was sure about that. Oh God, guys, I can't believe it. And we got a praying mantis here, so I don't know what to tell you. We got a beautiful praying mantis here. <laughs> we found for the fundia. Oh my God, guys. Okay, guys, so I'm not gonna go all the way down, guys, because if I keep going, and it's everywhere, guys. If I keep going down, guys, more, I'm going to confuse myself, I'm going to go down, and I'm going to get lost. I don't wanna get lost, so. Uh, I see for the everywhere. Oh my god. So I'm gonna go down to the river guys. I'm gonna eat my tama right there guys. And I'm gonna do what I have to do right, you know. Like I was saying guys, yep. Yeah, that's pure weed and says poisonous. So you know. And some people say you can you know you know try to train in you know, some way to uh try to eat the leaves and some part of the root system but I don't think guys that's a good idea. For my point of view, guys, I will tell you don't eat it until you got a very, 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 very good uh, information. You can research very well. Even me, I got a lot of knowledge of a lot of, a lot of plants. I'm not even trying, guys. So, it's the way about this plant too. The jeans, jeans of weed and the, and the pure weed. You stay far away from that, guys. Not even touch it. So, well, like I said, guys, I see a lot of... So, here is, guys, with the deer coming to drink water. You can see a lot of deer marks everywhere. I was, you know, hoping maybe see some deer uh, entrance here. But anyway, so people take it, you know, whatever. Well, guys, I'm gonna get my thumb out here. In Central America, guys, that's a way. Well, no aluminum, of course, right? It's just, yeah, <laughs> the reality, we don't got an aluminum in the past, but we use banana leaves in the past, guys, to transport you know, food in the past. And they cook, you know, other animals when they, so maybe beans. But traditional, you know, in my country right now is uh, using banana leaves and you know in masa you know you know corn corn you know corn powder you know you mix it up you know make it tasty in the past they do it guys but that was more uh, more dry you know now we got chickens you know from india so you know mm. that was like the past food we was eating for easy transportation guys as well as the mal is the way it is we was nomads in the past. We're coming from the um, north side of Mexico. That is right now Wyoming, Idaho, California, all the way down to trying to explore you know, new lands we found. It was there in Central America. So now we come back here. That's indifferent, right? Really good, guys. And actually, in the past, guys, we don't use the, uh, the banana leaves. That's something new introduced by, you know, the other places, so that's what we use now, but in the past, we used, you know, the uh, auto power, you know, the corn to fold it. Like the Mexican tamales, that's a real tradition right there. Mm. Well, guys, this is my tree right now. That's my lunch. It's really good, guys. Hmm, let's go, let's go. Well, guys, I don't found nothing at all. I found a lot of bugs, that's the only thing that I found right now. And pretty sad to say that guys, I cannot find it. Actually the uh, made apple, it is a gem like uh, all the guys say to found it in forests and places more urban than the forest. So I'm surprised for real. We've been looking for like a three hours already and nothing. And well, I'm gonna go get the uh, water crest from my mom. You know the water crest or the perro, how we call it. I want to go get that, and it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. So, eh. And then I'm gonna check it out here, guys. About maybe some trout here, maybe not. And well, let's go, let's go, guys. I'm not sure really, guys, uh, about this uh, water crest right here. But I promised my mom to bring some home, so that's what I want to do. And. Sounds crazy, I think, right? But that's what I'm gonna do, guys. So, and actually, guys, here is guys like a little. It's really cold water, guys. Really, 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 really cold water here. 
it's really cold guys i cannot tell you how cold it is this one like around maybe 60 40 degrees while they're coming up from the corner over there coming all the way down here it's really cold guys so well i'm coming for what i'm coming and i'm gonna harvest a little uh for the water crest i'm gonna use take the top guys and let the rest there i know when i harvest a lot guys i'm gonna cut the uh, ends and let the roots on the bottom because if you pull it guys you're gonna damage all the other stuff so well that's what we got here guys water crest so i'm gonna try to harvest a little bit not too much and well let's go let's go i come back when i got the whole bag uh, not full guys but you know medium something well guys this is the bag that i got when the water crest i'm gonna go back to the truck leave it there and believe me or not guys i was thinking it was no more trout but i see a couple of trout down the uh, creek so i'm gonna go down to see if i can catch them i had to get some worms so let's go let's go well guys i think it's gonna be the same situation when the indian pipe i cannot find it guys i cannot find the main the main apple well not this year but maybe next year let's go let's go and let's go outdoors guys 